cool question I get a lot is how do you add Instagram to your high level website? Of course, you can use sites like Elf Sites and Pay, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to embed an Instagram feed, a Facebook, or a Twitter feed into your high level website completely free. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go into our sites and once we click on sites we'll go to the website that we want. to use this one as an example and inside the website you've got all of your pages. What I recommend doing is selecting a page that you already like and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and clone this page and we'll call this we're social. That way I have an entire page of We're Social. And I'm going to use this page as an example. I wanted to set this up as its own page. But you can embed on any page, anywhere, as long as you utilize the embed code. I'm going to use this page right here. So that way we can go in and do a bunch of different things. It's probably not going to be like the best ever, but it'll be a great way to show you some examples. We're just going to say we're social and I can just do like, comment, subscribe, something fun on the page. All right, so I don't need all these. We're just going to delete this on this page example. I'm going to delete this. But if you're working completely from scratch, you can come over here, add your section. We could just create a full length section down here. We can add a row and you could do this in two, three, four, five, or even six columns. I found for social media, three and four work best. So let's go ahead and add that section. And here, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be adding the element, the code element. So I'm just gonna copy these really quick. Or you can just click on add an element and continue to add the code, add an element, add the code. So we've got this set up now for some code. Let's go ahead and delete these pictures. We'll go ahead and add element. Let's go ahead and add a code here. So I've got some cool little codes going on here that I think I'll like. We'll go ahead and delete this one. So we have one where we just went in and selected a design because we liked the background. And then we have one where I just showed you how we added it from scratch, adding a section, a row, and then columns. And again, you can just duplicate this if you'd like, and you could just remove the other column, and now you have three. This is just a really good example of just making the page with where you want to put the code. Now that we've got our website page set up with the code, it's time to put in the codes. Now, let's talk about Instagram. Inside of Instagram, before you add a code, there's a couple things that you want to do. You want to make sure that your page is public, and you also want to make sure that you've given Instagram permission to be able to share that code. You can easily change this on your desktop or on your mobile. All you need to do is go into the settings section, and the first place we want to do is make sure that our account is public. If it's a private account, then it won't be shown. So you want to make sure you change this in two spots. One right here, make sure that this is turned off. And then the next one we want to do is go down to sharing and remixes. When you click on sharing and remixes, and you want to make sure right here when it says where people can share, allow people to embed your post or profile on other websites. You want to make sure that this right here is turned on. If that is not turned on, then what's going to happen is you won't see your post embedded into your site. So again, you're just going to go into your settings section and you can do this on mobile or desktop. Make sure your profile is public and make sure to go down to sharing and remixes and make sure you have your allow people to embed your post on your site turned on. Now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's go in and let's do a post. So I'm just going to pick an Instagram post here and let's just select this one. And we select the post that you like and that you want to embed. Look over here for the three dots. When you select the three dots, you're just gonna select this embed code and the embed code is already ready. We're going to go ahead and copy. But before I copy, I want to show you one little thing. 
there's a little, little bitty check mark right here that says include caption. I'm going to show you one with the caption included, and then I'll show you one without the caption included. So let's go ahead and copy that code. We'll go into our website. You're going to click on your custom HTML JavaScript element. You're going to open the code editor. You're going to hit Control or Command V and paste that right into the element. We don't see it here, but let's go ahead and save it. I like to save stuff before I do anything. And let's go ahead and preview this. And there's our post. So you can see the post and then you can see the comments right here. Now let's go back and do one without the caption. I'm going to select embed code. I'll go back to the website. I'm going to open the code editor and I'll do the same thing. Control V or Command V and save it. This is the most common. Just remember to uncheck and you'll have your feed looking like this. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the Control V, Command V. All right, we'll go ahead and copy that embed code. We'll go back into the second element and open the code editor and hit Control V or Command V and save it. Let's go ahead and preview the page. And you'll see how you don't see the comments here because I unchecked it. It looks like a natural post. What I really like about doing the embed into the website is that you can take a variety of posts and make it really fun. So I'm just going to select this. We'll go ahead and embed the post. I'm going to not include the caption. I'm going to copy the code. And let's go back into our site. I'm going to edit this code. And I'll paste the code in here and save it. Let's delete this one so I can show you what it looks like with two. We'll go ahead and preview. And there you have two posts ready to go. Now you can see the image sizes are different. One was a little vertical, one was square. So when you're designing, you want to make sure that you pick consistency. So if you're going to do all verticals, share all the verticals, I would probably do three columns. If you're going to do square, maybe you might want to do four columns. Now let's go into Facebook. And inside of Facebook, and let's go to a post in Facebook. I'm going to select these three dots on this specific post. And right here, when I select the three dots in Facebook, I can also embed this code. There is an advanced settings option in here where you can learn how to add and code specific generators. This is from the developer's Facebook page. It teaches you how to embed not just the post, but other amazing features. Maybe you want to embed your page. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and copy the code. We'll go back into our site and let's go ahead and add my Facebook right here. There's one post and let's go ahead and select another post here. So let's go ahead and preview the Facebook. You can see how this is a little bit shifted over. The main thing to remember is that inside of your element, when you're iframing, make sure to allow rows to take the entire width. You can see how adding it with full width, because it's iframed, it puts it into a normal design. Remember, we used this instead of adding a section in a row, so it's got this little background. If for any reason you wanted to edit this background and change it a different color, you can use the column adjuster to adjust it to add more columns. So you could do a square post and then adjust it. You may not want to have a background in case the sizing is different, but you could get really creative with this. Now let's talk about Twitter. Twitter is going to be the same way. And then here's the next piece and that's X, the new Twitter. And you could go to your feed and again, guess what? Select the three dots embed the post by selecting embed post. You can have an embedded video or you can have the embedded post. You just select which one you want and it's going to put the code right here. If you wanted to do it as an embed video, you can see how this would look a little longer. I'm just going to copy this code. Let's go ahead and go back to our site and let's add this one to this one over here. And I'm just going to hit control command V and there it is. Let's go ahead and preview. And now on my website, I have my Facebook feed. I have my Twitter X feed and I have my Instagram feed. 
but you can get really creative. You can even mix and match and move these around. Let's say I wanted to move that one over here and I wanted to move this one over here to just have a nice little fun. Let's move this code over here. And if I just wanted to delete all these and just have one page like a gallery, there it is. Let's go ahead and preview. And I just had a mix and match of different social profiles to show you how it goes. Now you can see how, remember I said, we've got to make sure the row is long because we're pulling iframes. So we wanna make sure we go to this section and allow the entire row. And let's go ahead and save and preview. And there we go. You can see how the different sizes will look funny. So this is gonna be a fun game to design, but you can easily do it by selecting either the individual profiles, the sizes of the post, or just putting together all square posts and all vertical posts, any long posts, whatever you'd like to do. You can easily edit the Facebooks, which are definitely iframed, to change the size. So for example, that one said 250, I'm gonna do 500. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go to this other post. And I'm going to save this to a height of 500. Let's go ahead and preview. So remember when it says iframe, you can adjust the sizing and play around with it how you see fit. You can even use the markers. This might require a little bit of design if you want to add backgrounds, row backgrounds, image backgrounds, or adjusting the size, height, and width. You can utilize that. High level makes it really easy to add any embed code you want to your website completely free. What I do enjoy about this is that you can select and choose your favorite post, and you can do this anywhere on any page inside of your website builder. And that, my friend, is how you embed social media, Instagram, Facebook, and X, formerly Twitter, into your high level website. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.